This is the Laser Packer 3. Welcome to Ground Affected, and in this video, I'm going to unbox this lasering machine and show you exactly what it is all about. <laughs> LaserPecker sent me this infrared laser for me to test out and show you on my channel. Now, I am definitely not an expert in lasers, in fact I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing, so perhaps me using this as a beginner might be a good way of showing you that even an idiot like myself can use a laser. Yes, this is a real laser. This is a 1064 nanometer infrared laser which essentially has a peak power of 10 kilowatts but uses is an average power of around a thousand milliwatts. The working area of this particular laser is 115 by 80 millimeters. Uh, that's in an ellipse shape as well as in a square shape it's 65 by 65. Pretty straightforward. It is also one of the faster lasering engravering machines on the market for our level at this point. This is between 6 to 800 millimeters per second um, and that is a pretty good. And now I really must admit that the packaging of, the, of this product is really good. In my opinion, the way they package everything, it feels like something of a high quality product when I take it out of the box. Everything is made out of metal, it feels nice in the hand, the machining is really high quality, and to be honest, I can't really compare this to anything, as this is my first laser that I've ever received in my life. So, it looks great to me. The box unboxing experience was fantastic. The machine went together really easily, it's labeled all on the back, so it's easy to plug things in, and it's pretty straightforward uh, from here on. It's really easy to move the laser up and down in order to focus as well as there's this cool little button that you can use to bring up the two little lights that you need to center on each other in order to focus the correct depth for the laser to be lasering at. Uh, one of the things I learned very quickly about using a laser machine is that there is a very uh, specific distance that the laser needs to be when it is lasering on the parts that you are using to laser on. Also, as you can tell, there is an app that goes along with this uh, little laser which really works extremely well even for someone as computer illiterate as myself. And now all you have to do is download the app, set everything up, it automatically connects to the Laser Packer 3 and you can place the image that you want to laser in there and it's really straightforward to go through this app if not maybe a little bit different if you've never used anything like this but for me it was so easy to go through this app i even grabbed this machine took it to my friend's house and we lasered everything he has in his house because it, why wouldn't you i have a laser machine i'm gonna laser everything i can possibly uh, put in its sight what you may notice there is that i was struggling uh, to get any lasering happening because the uh, cover for the laser was left on don't forget that if you get one of these machines make sure to take off the laser cover otherwise you're going to have a bad time. This right here is a real-time lasering session and uh, this right here is where I sped it up 600 times. That is because uh, no one wants to sit and watch anything uh, grow ever. But you can see from this laser that it had absolutely no problems with lasering my logo directly onto a metallic card, a business card, if that's the kind of thing you like. That is the kind of thing you can do with this machine. Also, I decided to then laser my logo onto everything else that I owned. Uh, so some things I regret, other things I don't regret. I was really enjoying myself watching the laser using my protective goggles that came with the machine. Of course, you could get also a nice little shroud that protects this machine, which I will show you later on in the video that LaserPecker sent me as well. 
The next thing that happened was my neighbor heard that I had a laser and I am in a studio shop where next door there is a lady who sells soaps and she asked me can I laser some things and of course I lasered everything that she offered me because why wouldn't you it's a laser I don't understand what people aren't getting uh, this is a laser you can use this laser to laser things how cool is that Now you might be saying to yourself, Mr. Ground Affected, you're getting a little bit carried away with the fact that it is a laser. Give us some more information about this laser to make us believe that this laser is any good or is it terrible? Now I can't honestly tell you the honest truth about that because I have nothing to compare it to. But my experience with this is that it lasered. Everything I put underneath it that it said it could laser, it 100% lasered. The one thing that I had a problem with is you need to make sure that the surfaces you are lasering are completely flat. As you can see by this wonderful bat symbol, the left hand side was not at the same height as the right hand side. However, it worked okay with this particular design. I used even the freaking mat that I used to cut on got a laser on it. I lasered everything. Genuinely, as soon as I got this, I found everything that was not tied down or glued down in my studio and I stuck it underneath this machine to see what would happen if I lasered it. Some things didn't laser and other things did. Now I don't have the technical uh, garb laban that's going to tell you everything you may need to know about lasers if you are a professional laserer uh, doing person. But in my opinion this seems to work pretty fantastic. <laughs> Uh, now for some technical stuff for those who actually understand any of these technical things Maybe this will help you for not so technical side of it it, you, you can use this machine with your iOS or Android phone. You can also use this machine with your Windows or Mac OS a Confuser. Uh, the other thing that you may want to know is that the file formats that it supports on the PC is G-Code, JPEG, PNG, a BMP, SVG, DWG and DXF. On your mobile telephony communicating device, however, you can use JPEG, PNG, G-Code and SVG. SVG. Uh, that is a lot of acronyms. This laser machine is designed with also a little hole in its base so you can move the machine around and uh, place it on different objects in order to laser engrave uh, pretty much anywhere. The whole point of this thing is that you're able to do many different types of projects that you would need to laser on. Let's say you wanted to laser your light switch, you can genuinely, as long as the cable reaches, stick this against your light switch and engrave it. I engraved even my work desk, I engraved the camera lens, I engraved everything. I, I literally tried to engrave everything that I owned because when you get a laser, it's super exciting. There is an easy uh, batching systems type thing. If you notice, there is holes on this base and the little plate that goes in there also has holes in. These are all threaded in order for you to screw in little like L plates for you to hold things in place and make it easier for you to batch out a load of objects uh, with the greatest of ease. The way this machine feels to me is as if it was designed for the new user in mind. It's honestly so easy to just get started with it. There is no really crazy apps. You don't have to learn any fancy terms. I literally used my phone throughout this entire process. Not once did I turn my computer on. So if you don't even have a PC, you can still use this laser. I am uh, definitely not saying to you that this could be the best laser on the market. However, it does exactly what it says on the box. It's an easy operating laser with almost no learning curve and it comes out the box and just does what it's supposed to do. If you are interested in uh, these kind of lasers, there will definitely be a link for them in the description below and you should definitely check that out. While you're there, there will also be a link for my limited edition coins, which I have used this laser to create and uh, you should check that out in the description as well. 
This over here is the nice encapsulated uh, eye protection thing that you can also get for this particular machine. I'm also using the uh, included roller that LaserPecker sent to me in order to laser onto a cylindrical and round objects. This is also a really awesome thing to watch and I had a lot of fun lasering everything once again. So if you are in the market for a laser, uh, maybe this laser pecker number three is the one that you might need for your needs. It doesn't do wood, it, uh, it can't cut acrylic, it doesn't cut really anything, but it's not designed for that. If you maybe do jewelry, maybe uh, you need to do some really different types of business cards on metal or whatever the case is, uh, this is the way you can increase your output for your crafting and uh, whatever it is that you need to do in your creativity in every day today today uh, this is the time of the video where i need to say to you if you didn't like what you saw in this video i don't really care it's time for you to now off